What's up, guys? Buffalo Prime here, bringing you a reaction video to Itzy's Not Shy. Again, I actually know I reacted to the music video yesterday, but I saw today that Studio Choom did their choreography with them in their studio, which is awesome, because Studio Choom is awesome. Uh, so I want to react to that, because I've been dying to see more of the performance. I watched, obviously, the music video, and um, they did like a live uh, comeback dance uh, performance. Um, and I watched that, but uh, it was kind of hard to like pick up on you know, everything that was going on. Um, so I'm really excited to see this dance like all the way through, especially in Studio Chum, which always does a really great uh, job with their performers and anybody that goes onto their, their set. I actually tweeted out yesterday that this song might unironically be the best K-pop song I've heard all year. And I actually do believe that. I think it is pretty close. Um, I'm not a big fan of Blackpink's How You Like That. I think their song, I mean, it's like there's so many, like onomatopoeias, I'm not sure what that word is, when they do like the the weird sounds um like do 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 i hated that i was like why does that even need to be there so i think the song is better than blackpink's how you like that i think it's better than twice as more and more which is it's close i really like more and more i think it's better than 17's left and right honestly i think it's more uh, left and right's catchy but like the song has i think more of the entire package in terms of the performance in terms of the attitude in terms of the beat um you know it's not being sued by um true cupid so Whatever real Cupid, whatever his name is. So I really want to react to this. I'm excited for it. Um, so let's just dive in. I got obviously if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. We're really close to a thousand subscribers, which is kind of nuts. Um, you know, mostly this channel is K-pop content and League of Legends. Um, so even having a thousand subscribers is nuts. So I appreciate you guys for that. Um, so feel free to support any way you would like. It's up to you. Sorry that my hat rack's not in the right spot, and you can see like my Brahm statue and my water bottles. Um, the hat, it's actually, I mean, it is literally a rack that moves. So anyway, let's just watch the music video. So before I go into this, I did watch kind of like a behind the scenes thing, uh, where, uh, they talked about, um, like it's, he addressed a lot of their common criticisms. And the one that really stood out for me was Leah coming forward and saying, yeah, I don't have the same confidence as the, as the rest of the group. They're like spectacular and they have a lot of fun and it stresses me out. Um, and I actually, when I first found itzy i didn't really notice that like that leah wasn't that great i mean like yeah okay she wasn't the, the, as good as like these world-class dancers that are beside her um but i think she was pretty okay but yeah a lot of the cr criticism for her has been pretty harsh and i think she, her confidence is really starting to come back so i'm excited to hopefully see that here i just thought that was an interesting caveat but let's just go ahead and dive in right here right now dude studio Ch like studio Chu does such a good job like, the visuals are always so good. I mean, like, look, look at Leah there. I mean, like, she has a lot of confidence. And even that little small section right there is just... I You can see it coming forward in, in ways that, like, the previous songs, you know, that they've done, Dala Dala being one that she even referenced being really challenging for her. Like, I wonder if this, this song and dance really fit her style a little bit better. I wonder if they were more conscious of that. But she looks great here. Like, her movements are good. Like, really good. Can we talk about how Ryujin looks here? Like, oh my lord. <laughs> She's, like, 100% my bias. And, like, for good reason. I mean, look at her. She's a Pete. She looks great. And that same, uh behind the scenes like thing where they were talking about criticism uh ryujin briefly mentioned this notion that k-pop stars have to be like really thin um because it's easier to wardrobe them it's um easier or better to look at and things like that and she was kind of like well you know we should really you know aim for that because of the practicality of practicing so much and like being active and not because it's like prettier than being a little bit more uh curvaceous and i always thought when i first saw ryujin i was like wow she's like not she doesn't completely fit the mold of like a, a female K-pop star where they're really thin and things like that. Like she has more, um, you know, feature to her, I guess, for lack of better terms. And I really like that about her. And I think she she's comfortable in it, which is incredible. And I think that's that's out of this world. Um, so I think just her being as confident and kind of like just appealing as she is, I think it's just nuts. Like, look, just look at her face there, man. Look at that glare. Like, that's like the Ryujin glare right there. Boom. Whew. 
That's nuts. That's actually nuts. All right, I won't pause this much. I'm sorry. Interesting, like, uh, separation there for a small group. God, Studio Tune is so good. Look at it. Okay, so I noticed this in their live performance, and I wonder why it is. Um, I don't know if it's uh, to accent that she's singing here, but, like, watch Ryujin's arm go higher than everybody else's there. Like, I wonder why she does that. Like, it doesn't say, I, I don't know. It, I thought it was a mistake when I first saw it, like, in their live performance they did. But now it looks intentional. Like, everybody else has their arm right, like, I'm sorry, right, right here, but hers is, like, way up here. I wonder why that is. I love that move right there, too. I'm, I told you guys I wasn't going to pause as much, but, like, literally I'm pausing constantly. Like, that, this move section right here. Like, that little brush-off thing, so sick. Like, their mu their, the movements are just so catchy in this music video and in this dance. Like, it's a lot of bouncing, I feel, and it's just super appealing to watch. Like, look at the hip movements, man. I'm trying to not to be, like, weird about it, right? But, like, their hip movements are so fluid. And, like, Rujin's always been really good at that, like, popping style. Again, I'm not a dance guy, but I've watched a lot of these music videos and a lot of these dances. So, like, I catch up on, you know, what people comment on and, like, what professionals say. Because you can, like, turn and watch uh, professional dancer reacts. Like, that stuff helps to kind of understand what they're doing. But, um, like, Ryujin always has super sharp movements. It's just nuts. And you can tell they're having fun here, too, which is huge. I don't know, man. Like, Yeji having that much fun right there is just super... It just makes you smile, I don't know. Like, look at Leah, she's so, like, fuck yeah, dude. I don't know why I squeaked so much right there. <laughs> also, goddamn, can we talk about Cher, Cher Young? I never know how to say her name. Cher Young's outfit here? Man. They're all their outfits are great, but I like hers a lot. Oh, God, she's so pretty. She did it again. Like, is this... A, what is the... I wonder why this is. Where her arm is extended fully out. Is it a choreography error or is it intentional? I, I don't know. See, the dance looks a little bit easier, which I feel like Leah fits into a bit better. But I like, I think it accents how catchy the song is. I don't know. Maybe I'm overanalyzing. Super, super attractive move there. A lot of hip movements in the song, I feel. I didn't even realize the chest thrust there when I first saw this. Right here. Really subtle. I liked it. Jeez. <laughs> Ryujin, come on. Do you guys, like, am I the only person that gets uh, Lisa from Blackpink vibes out of Yuna? Like, even right there, the way that she, like, this is a really weird freeze frame, right? But, like, even, like, her her accent here just really feels Blackpink Lisa-esque. Right here. A little bit of how she sounds, too, but, like, the way that her, like, facial expressions are, it's really similar to me. Amazing. I absolutely love it. I hope they win a bunch of awards. I hope they do great. This song is just so amazing, dude. I love it to death. I don't know. Like, the criticism on Leah, like, maybe I need to just watch just her. 
you know, like the focal cams or whatever. But like, I think she did really well in this comeback and in this album. Like, I haven't listened to the other songs in the album yet. Um, and let me know how those are in the comment section below because I haven't dived into that yet because I've been too obsessed with this song. But if they're really good, let me know and I'll, I'll listen to them. Uh, obviously, I intend to anyway. But you know, feel free to let me know how they are. Um, but yeah, I think like Leah's like maybe this song again meshes with her a little bit better. But I think Leah did great here. Um, they all did really good. Dude, Studio Tune does such a good job. I love watching music videos and, and dances out of them. So uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below, though. And let me know if you want to re- want to watch me react to anything else. Um, you know, not a lot is out right now that I haven't already seen. I have a backlog of, like, K-pop videos that I want to um, watch and, 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 and listen to um, that are kind of, like, not as, you know, prolific as, you know, ITZY and things like that. But, um yeah, I don't, and you know, nothing else is really coming out that's appealing to me so far. But if you guys want me to react to something else, I saw a request to do 17 Fearless. Uh, I haven't actually dived into that too much, so maybe I will. But let me know. Uh, I do read all my comments, so feel free to leave a comment, and I'll probably respond to it, in all honesty. Uh, but until next time, I'm Buffalo Prime, and I'm out.